So, well, hello, hello, my dear viewers, my dear friends. Welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. Hello, God. How are you today on this fine, shiny day? It's raining outside. It's, it's a very shitty weather today. But we are here. We are back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. Oop. Oh, God. Sorry. Can I climb things? No, nope, I don't think I can. Okay. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure what I need to do. Let's check the journal. Okay. Um, Alright, so bury your loved ones in scallets. Talk to Sir Robot. And optional get a horse. Okay, so. It wants me to go back to Scallets. I'm not sure I want to do that now. I'm going to explore a bit. We're going to make this an exploratory episode today. What do you guys say? Can I can I get cabbages? No, I cannot get cabbages. Sadly. Ha! I can get back here. Okay, I can't speak with this card. But I could have spoke with the other one. Let me see where he is. I'm a bit peckish, I know. I'll take care of that in a while. But we'll see. Oh! Jesus Christ. Okay. I could speak with you. Let's see what you have to say. What you need. Oh, okay. Can you tell me where I can buy or sell something? Someone to do business with. Well, Botova often gets things the merchants don't have. Ooh. Last time I saw him, he was by the granary. Try him. He thinks about trade day and night. <laughs> Could vote. Could this? I was surprised, all right. <laughs> I'm glad them people was saved, though, and just as glad it weren't Sigismund. For sure, he'll come here in the end too. But now, at least we got time to get ready for him. Maybe he'll leave Talmberg B. Maybe, maybe not. Could be he was only out to get Sir Radzig, as he's Wenceslas's hetman. And Scalitz is a rich town, so there was plenty of loot for the taking. Two birds with one stone, so he might be satisfied and leave us alone. Reckon we'll see soon enough, one way or the other. Hmm. By the way, Henry, it is Henry, ain't it? I was sorry to hear about your parents. They've gone on to better things. Ah, loot, you say? Hmm. Divish certainly put Sigismund in this place. You're right there. That's Sir Divish for you. May God grant him long life. Okay. This was interesting. I'm glad I came to you. Okay, can I go in here? Since you're so skittish with with private areas and so on. Okay, another guard to speak with. Oh, thank you so much. Is that a trader somewhere? Okay, so this is the same thing. Well, if it's food you need, go okay. and ask in the kitchen. <coughs> If you want something else, I can't help. One of the villagers might know. Okay. What do you think about how the Scalitz folk managed to get away? Fortune smiled on them, that's for certain. Sigismund must be seething with rage. Yeah. Just same, Fortune didn't smile on all of them. Oh, shit. Sorry. And you know Sir Radzig Kubila? I wouldn't say I know him. I've seen him a few times. Why do you ask? Well, he must be a fine lord. To take such good care of every one of his serfs. Surely all the lords do that. Yeah. <laughs> ah, oh, poor Henry. About the village. Jesus, no. I didn't mean it like that. Just that I heard stories from other soldiers that would make your skin crawl. I see. Ah, oh, poor Henry, oblivious to the ways of the world. That was a tense moment this morning with Sigismund. Sir Divish handled it masterfully. This is a strong castle. It should stand up to a siege, but Sigismund has an awful lot of soldiers. Who are those peculiar mercenaries of his? You mean the Cumans? No one knows much about them, except Sigismund enlisted them somewhere in the east. They're an evil-looking bunch, aren't they? Not just looking. Okay, so let us go away. I want to go to that trader over there. Not that I have much to trade for. Ooh. Oh. Oh god. 
How did I do that? Did I jump? Okay, no, never mind. Okay, just an A bail. Um, hmm. <laughs> oh God, I'm I'm awful at this. Hello. Good morning. Oh, and hear me saying this was going to be an exploratory episode, and now I'm just here speaking with people. <laughs> Everyone fled here with only what they could carry. But I reckon Votava, the pond keeper, wouldn't let even Sigismund interrupt his business. I saw him by the granary. You can't miss him. He's skinny as a bulrush. Yeah, this Votaka's defense. Sigismund's visit this morning was pretty alarming, isn't it? And no mistake. That army of his is enormous. It's a good thing Sadivish is such a fine speaker, or they'd have squashed us like bugs. All right. Okay, so I'll try and find this Votaka dude. Aha! The Votava. Jesus Christ be praised. Yeah, sure. Great. Right. Okay. You've got the coin. Okay, so maybe he's not the offense. But who? Okay, so he has no weapons, no armor. Some food. Ooh, he has some lockpicks. On mint condition, too. But, Jesus Christ, they are expensive. Holy, and do you have a treasure map? Oh my god, but that's expensive. Okay, can I even buy it? Oh god, no. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, yeah, remove. This was not a good idea. Can I? Oh, yes. Oh, let, let me see how I am. I want to see how I am. Please. Good morning. Oh, look at that fine mug. That is the mug I was looking for. Is there someone here who trades in? There we are. Try Votava. He's as thin as a starving hound and about as cheerful, but he can get anything you want. I saw him by the local granary. Okay, I I, I spoke with him already, so. Cutthroats will come out of the woods any time now and slaughter us all. They okay. won't come back. Why would they? We'll stay here overnight to be on the safe side and go back to the fields tomorrow. By tomorrow morning, all our heads will be on spikes. What in God's name are you on about? I hear that's what them foreign soldiers do, and worse. They do nothing of the sort. Where did you hear that nonsense? Vilma heard the guards on watch talking about it. Nobody's going to attack us, never mind foreign soldiers. Sigismund's moved on and... We've got Jesus Christ, this is some sheery bunch. Ah, I'll eat from the pot, thank you very much. Okay, good morning. No, nothing really new. Okay, let's talk with Sir Robot. Sir Robot, here we are. My respects to you. Okay. Okay, yeah, let's start with this one. Burn down and then come here too. That's war for you, lad. Certain lords have resolved to take things into their own hands and eliminate anyone who doesn't share their view. Unfortunately, Sir Radzig is one of those. And what's more, he was sitting on a pile of silver that could help King Wenceslas's allies. Mm. Yeah. What happened in Gutenberg? Gutenberg? Well... I'm just a simple soldier, but the good lord gave me ears, and I've heard some things from Sir Divish and from those who fled from Sigismund's pillaging. Were there many? Indeed, but it was the Kutenberg mercenaries who came to see me, because I knew them from before. I see. Listen, lad, these are all games of the high aristocracy. In Prague, a cabal of nobles rebelled against King Wenceslas, wealthy aristocrats who took against our king for reasons of their own. There's no doubt Sigismund had his fingers in the whole affair. Him and Wenceslas's cousin, Jobs. And that cabal helped him abduct the king. So then why did Sigismund attack Kuttenberg? Why do you think? Oh, okay. Uh, for the loot? 
No. Maybe the insurgent lords? No. Strategic but Maybe I should have been paying attention. Oh god. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Because the lords there could have risen against him with their armies and stopped his conquest of the Bohemian territories? That's part of it. Okay. King Charles, may God grant him eternal glory, built Prague into a proper royal city, while okay. Wenceslas took a liking to Kutenberg. After Prague, it's the most important city in Bohemia, in the entire Holy Roman Empire. He who commands the Kutenberg silver is king. So Kutenberg sided with Wenceslas because he favored it. Now you're starting to understand. Ah. When Sigismund imprisoned Wenceslas and took control of Prague, the people of Kutenberg began to raise an army against him. So for so the loot. attack on Kutenberg, Sigismund killed okay. two birds with one stone. He defeated Wenceslas's most powerful allies before they could stand against him and also gained immense wealth. Okay. Okay. Where did these humans come from anyway? I don't know much about them, only what the Chamberlain said. That they came to Hungary from the east and settled there. They're godless barbarians and merciless fighters. The nobles used to say the Hungarian king shouldn't enlist them, because they dishonor our rules of warfare. But when there's power and money to be had, it seems that honor isn't worth my spit. And believe me, it's always about power and money. Much like Fallout says, war never changes. Hey, Robot, I need to get to Scalitz. What would you do there, lad? Sigismund might have left, but the place will be swamped with robber barons, brigands, deserters, and other vermin. And anyway, your lord commanded you to stay here. Ooh. Oh, God. Hmm. Thank God I don't have time. Okay, this one won't work. <coughs> This one won't work. Uh, because, well, he's a full plate at night. And it's not like this flimsy ass baby face can do anything to him. So, this one I think will be a little bit weak as well. So, I think my best option is this one. So, Robot, my parents died there. I can't leave them to be eaten by dogs. What would you please, do? success, please. Sorry, lad. Ah. I won't take orders. You'll have to wait until everything settles down and maybe your lord will change his mind. Mm. Okay. Ni, 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 ni. Maybe your lord will change his mind. Mm. Okay. Uh, hmm. I guess I have no other option then. I gotta rebel! Okay. Hmm. I mean, I could go to Scalitz on foot. But maybe that won't happen. Good day to you. Okay. Okay, no, I'm not about to... Hmm. Because... I think I have a horse. Okay. Okay, so this is not my horse. So... But this one doesn't say steal. The other ones do. But this one doesn't. So, I'll take... This one. Oh God. Uh. <laughs> okay. Maybe I can just waddle away. Any waddle away. You waddle waddle. Buck buck buck. Buck buck buck. Okay, maybe I can... Sir, please open the gates. Redeem. Please. Okay. Redeem doesn't want to open the gates. Open the gates, please. With you. <laughs> I need to get out of here. I 
and I need a feather bed with a comely wench in it. But it looks like we're both <laughs> disappointed. Sir Divish gave orders not to open the gate, and you especially are not to be let out. Mm. Okay, I don't think this one will work. Because again, he's a soldier. I don't have money for this. Uh, I don't want to lie, because that'll get me into further trouble. I, of course he knows who I am, he has orders not to let me out. So... My mother and father were left in scallops like carrion. I have to bury them. I can't leave them to the dogs. I'm sorry, my friend, but I can't. Okay. You'll have to persuade Sir Robard, or think something up so I don't end up in the shit for it. Otherwise, forget it. Okay. Alright, I'll see what I can do. Let's... Mm. Okay, end the dialogue. Can I go and speak with Sir Divish? Like, right off the bat? Maybe I can. Maybe if I just go and speak with him. Or the, or the lady. Okay. This is a villager. Okay, this is a locked door. This one's open. And... So not exactly anyone here. Okay. I'm in a private area. I know, I know. Um, I'm not about to start robbing things. Yet. Oh, these are books. Huh. What the books? Well, they fetch a nice price, but I probably won't be able to sell them just yet. Oh, okay. So, I'm just out here in the, in the barricades again. Chamber lane, I can't speak with you. Hmm, maybe I can't find Divish anywhere. Oh, wait, no, I think I might have a place where I can find him. Hmm. Because I... Oh, sorry. Because I really didn't want to... Uh, okay, let me try and see... Oop. Okay, maybe this is... His chamber or something? Okay, this looks like... A study? Okay, it's a very hard lockpick. Ooh. Hunt trophies. Okay, an easy lockpick, okay, another easy lockpick, hmm, this is temptation right here, if this was Skyrim, oh my friends, these lockpicks would be long open, ah, ooh, sorry about that. I'll, I'll wait for a bit. I'll I'll just I'll just wait here for a bit. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I can just interrupt <laughs> Lady Stephanie here. God say, can I help you with anything? Yes. I have to get to Skellig. Assistance, my lady, if I may be so bold. What's the matter, lad? I need to get out of the castle. <laughs> and your husband is keeping me here by force. Well, not exactly. <laughs> it is my duty to bury them. You have a good heart. I can't live with the thought of my parents being left in the mud to be food for stray dogs. How can their souls find peace until they rest in hallowed ground? Dear Ooh. boy, you'd risk your own life to give them a Christian burial. My heart goes out to you. I will do what I can to help, though I'll tremble in fear until your return. But what can I do? If I could just get past the guard at the gate somehow. But, but 
you can. If you wear a proper suit of armor, and if he can't see your face, he won't recognize you, and he'll let you go. Good thinking. Well, that is smart. Uh, bleh. <laughs> I'll certainly ask where I'm going. You could tell them Sir Robard sent you to Ujits. To ask the parish priest how the folk there are faring. That sounds reasonable. Okay. And where can I get the armor? At the armory? <coughs> Where's that? In the gate tower. But the soldiers sleep in other places around the castle too, and you might find armor nearby. It's rather embarrassing, but if I'm to pay a bribe, I need money. <laughs> Fortunately, I don't <laughs> How would you? Don't worry your head about it. This should be enough. Ooh. Thank you, my lady. Money, money, money. I pay you, I swear. Ah, sure you will. Ah, 25 groschen. Okay. You, my lady. I must go now. Okay. Um... Do I look like... Do I look like a Talmberg soldier? Not quite, Henry. Just look at you. Oh. <laughs> oh thanks. Oh, God. Okay. Um, sorry, Sir David. I can't even speak with him. So that that's how that's how this goes. All right. Um, ah. Oh, this is cool. Ooh. I don't even have lock picks. What am I gonna do? Ah. I'm not expecting to find a. Good day to you. Yes, yes. Um, no, not not really. I don't want you. I'm in a private area. Okay, this is a hard lock pick. Yeah, it's not exactly something I can do either. It's not like I can break a lock pick. I think. I mean, this is all hard. Hmm. Okay, maybe I'll just have to. I don't know, buy a lockpick. Buy a lockpick, maybe, and. Hmm. It seems to me the most. Sleep and save. I don't really. I don't really need to save right now. Okay, let's just keep going, keep looking. Oh, okay. There's no more places to go. Ta -ta -ta. Okay, so... Mm. I guess this is night time. Can I check the time? Okay, it's... Oh no, it's it's just raining. All right, it's just raining like just like outside. Uh, hmm. Let me talk to that guard again and see. Okay. I need to get out. Of here. You here again, boy? Didn't I tell you how much trouble I'd be in if I let you of all people out? Hmm. Take care now. All right, I'll just have to buy a lock pick then. <laughs> Good day to you. What do you need? Can we trade? I need a lock pick, sir. If you've got the coin, <laughs> and I'll haggle the heck out of it. I'll haggle the heck out of it. Okay, just take the point five at least. Or we agreed. I'd almost shake on that. Almost. Oh come on! Of course, this. Very well, I agree. All right, thank you. 
Jesus Christ. And I went from 25. Oh no. 37? This is the money I have. Okay, I have quite a bit then. I have enough for a potential. For a potential. Okay. I want to close this door. Just, just you know. Okay, how how does this Oh Ooh. Oh 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 well, now this is an interesting system. Jesus Christ. Okay. Still all. Theft. Alright, Jesus Christ. Um. Okay, and I can equip everything. Okay, but he can see my face. So it's not exactly like I'm, you know, completely covered. Hmm. Okay. Oh, there's a bow. Okay, so this is a hard lock pick. Okay. Okay. Jesus Christ be praised. Okay. Hmm. I don't know, maybe this will be enough. I could go to the lady and test it. Okay, we have time. I'll go there and test it. Alright. Damn, look at the blue screen. Okay. Just, okay, I went the long way around. Jesus Christ. Okay. just go to the lady maybe I'll... would you please thank you I don't know is she still praying ah oh, she is my lady God be with you I'm sorry De do I know you <laughs> it's me my lady Henry I didn't recognize you at all <laughs> I still think you should stay here in the safety of the castle, Henry. But I see your heart is drawing you away from here. Yes. God go I must. I must go, my lady. Thank you. I just find it very funny that we had that entire conversation next to your husband. I bid you farewell. Okay. We so let's go, Master Henry. I need to get out of here. Then I'm afraid you're out of luck. Ah, I see. All right then. But if you breathe a word about me to anyone. Farewell. Yeah. All right. Now the big question is, where the hell is Scalitz? 
think it's over that way. So, ooh. Okay, where am I exactly on the map? Okay, I sh should be here. Yeah, I should be here at this crossroads, or maybe here. Okay, I'm gonna put a marker, maybe that'll help me. Aha, okay, so that'll help me. Okay, so, this is gonna be it for this episode. We didn't do a lot, we got out of Talmberg. So, and now, on this very, very piss poor day, we're gonna wrap up. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.